finish this is inspiring, fun, exciting, fantastic, creative, surprising, and imaginative. Finish This is English National Opera's national music making programme for schools across the country. Finish This asks the pupils to step into the role of the ENO composer to listen, reflect, and respond to a purposely unfinished piece of operatic work. How could we inspire young people to finish an unfinished composition in the same way that Mozart's Requiem was finished by someone else? So I worked with the writer and librettist Ruth Mariner to come up with a story and an idea for the project. And then I worked with English National Opera and a few other people to help train teachers in how to use that piece of music to inspire their students to compose. Before the launch of the nationwide project, we had a pilot project with a massive emphasis on getting feedback from the teachers. It was just a fantastic process of making something really effective. So when the launch did happen nationwide, the project was tailor-made for as wide an array of schools as possible. The composition arrives in the school as a piece of music, but also as a film piece. This film piece takes them through a narrative journey of the creation of the composition. We see our ENO composer arrive at the London Coliseum, a little uncertain and unsure on what he's there for. He's received a letter asking him to come. He goes to the ticket office and finds a composer badge with his face on and he realises that he is in the place where he is supposed to be. He wanders around and he finds himself here. It's all dark, except for one light which is shining on the stage. And he steps into the light and he finds a notebook and a pencil. And as he starts doodling, he realises that all of his doodles make musical noises magically. We understand that his job is to turn the libretto, blue, red, yellow, into a piece of music. He begins to write notes on the musical score. We see the music start to come to life behind him. As our composer gets lost in the world of his imagination, we move into pieces of animation which detail these different colour worlds of blue, red and yellow. Each of these comes with their own themes and emotions that matches the music that you hear. But then something happens where he gets carried away or he gets lost in the music or something overwhelms him and then pop, he disappears. The film piece ends with a big question mark and an unfinished piece of work, leaving the students to finish the piece. Finish This kicks off with teacher training for teachers who have signed up to the programme, and we send out a toolkit of resources containing lesson plans, tips for teachers, a letter for the class, a link to the film, word clouds, the graphic score of the composition, graphic score cards, the libretto, dynamics cards, an e &O composer lanyard for everyone in the class. Once the video finishes, the students receive their very own e &O composer lanyards with their names included. This really gets the students hooked into the programme and understanding that they have a really key role on the project. As the e &O composers, their job is to finish blue, red, yellow. The students together in the classroom decide on what colour world they would like as the finishing part of blue, red, yellow. For an ice castle, I would think of ice cubes cracking in a glass of water. <laughs> Once the students have decided on their colour world, they are taken through a series of music making activities, led by their teacher, which they've been trained on through our teacher training programme. This involves working collaboratively with groups in the classroom and as a whole class together. Excited! Excited! 
Once the students have finished their colour worlds, they send it to the ENO. And we will celebrate the children's work on our website. You'll find an interactive map displaying where other participating schools are located, as well as a SoundCloud playlist and a YouTube playlist featuring selected animated films. We also send certificates back to schools celebrating the children's achievements. The main thing that I'd like schools to get out of Finish This is teachers to feel as comfortable and confident as possible in facilitating music for their young people and secondly for young people to feel confident and comfortable making music and exploring different styles and different ideas and having fun in groups together making something themselves. I was a little bit apprehensive to start off with. It felt quite overwhelming for some of our groups, but they've all done amazingly well. They've been able to match different pictures with different thoughts and different instruments. They've loved having that responsibility to come up with a new piece of music. I'm not a music teacher and I was really worried about whether I'd be able to handle the technical side of it. But we had some training and it was really useful and it made us really excited and enthusiastic to do it because we knew the children would love it. As far as I know, there are no other projects like Finish This in the way they encourage anyone in the most accessible and fun way to make music. There's no other way in which people can learn what music is unless they make those decisions themselves. It really allows young people to understand what music is. We want opera to happen upon people in places that they might not expect it and in ways that they might not expect it. Finish This makes that link to the opera. In the classroom we've listened to a lot more opera since. We've visited the opera now thanks to the ENO. When we started this project, I almost couldn't believe that students would be happy engaging with something that could be so abstract, but they totally did. They've just been so creative and they've gone with it and that's been so lovely, you know, there's been no boundaries and, you know, in the classroom it's very rare that we get those sort of opportunities to do that. And those children that maybe don't enjoy school so much normally because they find it difficult have really embraced it, they've got into it and they've had an opportunity to really shine and the children have just loved it. The children have responded really, really well. They've loved coming in every lesson to get their ENO lanyards. They've found the whole project so exciting and we've had really tangible achievements through it. It's been a wonderful project to take part in.